Oh lord, that back leg ain't touching. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Oh, just call me Tim Allen. I'm just bringing the tears. That is good. Oh yeah, it's like all your favorite things. Hello my sweet friends and welcome back. So this video, I think it's gonna be filmed over the span of like two days. It's actually mid afternoon right now and I'm about to run out to Home Depot. We finally got a new dishwasher. I am so, so excited. It was delivered this morning and Bunky is actually going to try and install it himself tonight. I think he's gonna do great. He uninstalled the other one, so I think he can do it. And he's been watching a bunch of like YouTube videos on how to, so we're gonna all do it together tonight. But he needs like a little hose or something that didn't come with it. So I gotta go run and grab that. And then I think tonight for dinner, we're gonna do like, steak and corn on the cob and zucchini it's beautiful here today and really warm so I'm so pumped for this so that's what we've got going on today and then I think I'll just keep this video rolling through tomorrow but I'm gonna go ahead and run to Home Depot and see if I can find this cord for him okay B give us the rundown what have we done so far here we have the water supply line connected uh-huh we have the drain hose connected and now we're making the electrical connections. But I think in your YouTube video, it said first things first, you have to cut the power. Power, the power. You did that. Oh yeah. Okay, you're making sure over here. I asked Bunky if he was nervous. He said, a little nervous, but oh. you're still doing great. I mean, the only thing I'm most nervous about is it being like leveled properly, but um, there were some instructions in there that said what height to put the legs at so i'm hoping that that is accurate okay i have faith in you all right that is that it's all hooked up <laughs> apparently <laughs> i told bunky I, I was like i thought this was going to be so much fun <laughs> to do and he, i was like instead he's so serious well it's a little bit it's a little bit stressful but, i understand uh, final checks complete <laughs> Funky has flipped the breaker back on, so there should be power here. Oh, there. Wait, did I plug it in? Hold on. Oh, goodness. Huh? Oh, yeah, she plugged in. Okay. I mean, I don't know how to, how to turn it. Hold on, let's see here. Select a cycle and options if desired. <gasps> oh. Well, it turned on. Bunky love. That's a good sign. Now what? Normal. Well, you do hit start and then close it. I guess you have to on this kind, huh? Yeah, Bunky and I have never had one. Top control. Yeah, top control. We always like press it over here. But yeah, I assume you just press start and then shut it. But now it says 244. Yeah, I, I took the heat off oh. since we're just gonna run like a first run, right? Yeah. Oh, it says here, if the start Resume button is located on top of door. Push the door closed within four seconds of selecting start resume. Alright, I'm gonna press it. Okay. Close the door. And we're gonna cross our fingers. Okay. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. Nothing's still happening. Or is it just that quiet? Yeah, no. <laughs> Should you open it again? Maybe there's a delayed start. We're opening the door. <laughs> Three, two. There's a white light there. Yeah, that has to mean something good. See if there's any water coming out of the bottom. <laughs> it's doing something. My flashlight out here. I mean, honestly, it sounds fine. Yeah, there's no water coming out of that water line that it's connected to. There's no water coming out on the floor. 
Oh lord, that back leg ain't touching. Oh goodness, we cannot be having a wobbly thing. Okay, so this dishwasher is running. I am so incredibly proud of my monkey. I knew he could do it. And we are definitely not gonna grill out now because it is eight o'clock, it is pitch black dark. Neither of us feel like cooking, so our go-to whenever we don't feel like cooking is always going to get Mexican food. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then I will pick this back up tomorrow and we will do all the things. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, just call me Tim Allen. <laughs> call me Al Borland. Tim the Tool the beard, Man Taylor. The beard. Let's go eat some Mexican food. Do you hear that sound? It's just, it's a beautiful sound. That's the sound of... Hard work. A job well done. Yes. And furthermore, uh, saving time from here on out, not standing over the sink washing dishes. That's right, because we really need to wash that crock pot. The fear, <laughs> the fear of dirtying up dishes hopefully no longer exists. But you know what? Sometimes like in the middle of the day, I'll put on a podcast or music or something, and I'll stand here and just wash dishes, and it, you know, it's kind of relaxing. Soothes the soul? Yeah, it soothes the soul a little, but well, trust me, I'd rather have the dishwasher. Okay, good afternoon. <laughs> I already made my lunch, did you know? I heard you down here. I heated up the rest of that Mississippi um, chicken noodle soup. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. so good. Bunky is frying up some bacon. What you gonna make for lunch today? Oh, just constructing one of the greatest sandwiches known to man. <laughs> the turkey, the turkey bacon lettuce tomato. Yum. With a Stone ground mustard honey aioli. What? And incredible bread option. Oh, we had the best bread too. Wherever yes. that may be. In the pantry. I need to wash wash my paws. Did you burn your bread? Not quite. <laughs> gotta, gotta keep an eye on that. Uh, did you turn this off? I did. Did we ever tell them the story about you not turning off the burners? Uh, no. But he tried to burn our I house down twice. I don't wish to share that story. Okay, well we won't tell it you. It involved a tortilla <laughs> and a taco. <laughs> I understand now why, Um, I gotta get this bread off. Oh, okay. Let's get the bread, let's get the bread. That's most important here. Yeah, let's. You know, let's not start that fire. Oh. A little cheese melts. Oh, no way, Bonk. That looks so good. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Y'all gotta see this cheese melt. Wow, that looks so good. Mm, this is gonna be a big sandwich. No, give us a rundown. Can I have a bite of your bacon? I'm, I'm still in the... Um, that was the whole reason I cooked an extra piece. Okay, y'all let us know. Do you like your bacon crispy or a little wiggly? <laughs> I said wiggly, you said flimsy. Because Bunky likes his crispy and I like mine flimsy. Floppy. Yeah. Mm, that is good bacon. I'm intrigued with this um, whole grain mustard honey aioli. It's a new concept being explored. You're, like you're creating this. Well, I mean, I'm borrowing. No, I mean, like, you're going to make it yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I thought of another secret edition. Oh, okay. Just a minute ago. Okay. The one and only. Because this is the assembly. So hang on, I didn't see you. Oh, the Worcestershire in there. Mm. Okay, Mr. B, a that little, sounds good. A little depth of flavor. <laughs> There's only two dashes, so. I'm sure it's you don't amazing. Wanna, you don't want it to taste like Worcestershire. 
you want just a little bit of that love. That love. Okay. I love you. I return, oh, thank you. <laughs> I return the bread back to the oven to uh, stay nice and warm. Okay. I'm telling y'all, my bunkie puts, he, you truly put love into your sandwiches. Like, it's a craft. One day, we're gonna like retire and just have like a sandwich shop on the beach somewhere. I normally wouldn't do this, but since it fits, nope, nope, we're not gonna do it that way. Why? Oh, I see. Well, because you want a little bit of the ribbon action. You, nobody wants to eat flat uh, lunch meat on a sandwich. Wow. I'm telling you, it just doesn't doesn't do doesn't do right. So impressed. By the way, this is um honey maple turkey from Borsi. Yeah. There's already a little honey in there, so next we go bacon. Okay. How are we looking so far? It's beautiful. Okay. Then we're gonna go tomato. Wow, this is so pretty. I love tomato. Next, we need a crack of salt. On those maters. Let's see if I can hook that up for you. What about some pepper? I put pepper in my secret sauce. Oh, okay. A mound of lettuce. Wow. Are y'all drooling yet? Because this looks really good. And the final touch is the, secret sauce. the drizzle into the lettuce. makes the lettuce happy. Yes. This makes my bunky happy. And then you cap it. And that is a meal in itself. Wow. That is a beauty if I've ever seen one. We're going with a straight horizontal cut. Show us. And there you have it. Oh, it's beautiful. And then we eat. I'm just bringing it to tears. <laughs> the final touch is coming. The final touch? Oh yeah, there's more. What? Oh yes. Any great sandwich is accompanied by a good dill pickle. This is true. I feel like this is like the bunky video. <laughs> I'm just filming you. <clears throat> well, we had our first official run of the dishwasher with dishes included it's finished and i'm excited to see how dry or not dry they may be i'm excited are you ready we're ready here we go i can't wait the big reveal oh, oh. they're looking a little, a little wet. wet on top of the cups oh they're wet only on top of the cups. But is there something we can put in there? I put the rinse aid in. Oh, you did? Yeah. But uh, overall, they are clean. We've got some clean dishes and we didn't have to clean them ourselves. Absolutely loving it. Like a McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all so it's actually the next day now i had a ton of computer work to do yesterday so i did all of that i have a few new blog posts up for y'all i'm gonna try and do a lot more over the next week um and y'all can always find my website links down below in my description box so you can go check it out but anyway today i've got two incredible tasty pasta i'm trying to say pasta salad <laughs> think of the word pasta salad dishes to share with y'all they're gonna be so good i wanted to kind of prep these for our weekend so bunky and i have something to like snack on easy lunch all of that i'm gonna make one for me and one for b but first i gotta thank yeedy for sponsoring today's video if wow whoa that was crazy i said its name and it started but if y'all follow me on instagram i was actually just talking about this like a week ago how in this house we don't have a single stitch of carpet and Bungie and I have to sweep every single day and there's always just so much like dirt and dust and stuff that gets in here and our minds are like blown at how crazy it is so anyway we've been sleeping every single day and Bungie and I are like this is for the birds we cannot do this any longer well thanks to my Yeedy I no longer have to and it is 
incredible. So let me tell you guys a little bit more about them. So I have the Yeedy Vac Station, which is a three-in-one home cleaning hero. It features 3000 PA, which is industry leading suction power. And it kind of works like a GPS. It maps out your entire floor. That way it can get full coverage without missing any spots. There is also a carpet auto boost function, which allows it to increase suction power automatically. That way you can really get your carpet good, or in our case, all of our rugs. If that wasn't cool enough, my Yeedy Vac is also a mop. So talk about the ultimate multitasker. And it actually vacuums and mops at the same time, still using that 3000 PA, strong suction power, and a smart mopping system. So that way it's leaving your floor twice as clean with one single use. So you can actually edit the whole map that Yeedy creates for you. You can tap the map to choose a room that you want it to clean. You can draw up a targeted area for it to clean or to steer away from. And then once the Yeedy is done on your app, you can tell it to go back to its charging station, which is so cool. It will go back all by itself. And then automatically it will empty into the dustbin. It is so amazing. It just suctions out all of the dust and dirt and the crumbs and things that that the Yeedy has vacuumed up. And then you can open up the self-empty station and see all of the dirt that's in there. To turn your Yeedy into the mopping mode, it is super simple. You're just gonna fill up your water tank and then apply your mopping pad and that is it. Turn it on and it's really incredible because the Yeedy will automatically avoid carpets when it's mopping. I'm telling y'all, this vacuum is so smart and so incredible. We have been so impressed. So the Yeedy Vac Station that we have is actually the best value for a self-empty robot vacuum of 2022. And in this series, there's also a Yeedy Vac Max, which is their most powerful. And then there's a Yeedy Vac, which is better for like apartment living. And of course, ours is a Vac Station. So if you're interested in purchasing anything from the Yeedy Vac series, I will have everything with the information linked down below in my description box. Okay, so now we're going to get started on these pasta salads. And the first one I'm making for me, and y'all know my love of buffalo chicken dip. Buffalo chicken anything, you know I'm obsessed. So I saw this one and it looked very simple and right up my alley. So I went ahead and cooked some noodles earlier and then just divided those so I have enough for me and Bunky. And then I just took a rotisserie chicken, pulled that skin off and chopped up my chicken really good. In my bowl right here, I'm going to add in some ranch dressing a little sour cream and some hot sauce and we'll mix that all together and that will be our dressing for this pasta salad and then we're gonna throw in some blue cheese crumbles and a little bit of celery for that healthy crunch the healthy crunch you need a little bit of green right yes ma'am and I just make my own ranch y'all know um, with the Hidden Valley ranch mix now I'm just gonna eyeball this to kind of make enough for me, but I will leave the recipe, um, of course, linked down below for y'all. Daryl, how much sauce are you making for this thing? I, I like it saucy. Ooh, isn't that a beauty? Mm. That's a beat right there. Mm -hmm. And then you can never have too much hot sauce if you ask me. So I'm gonna pour in a good bit. Mm. This is just like, I could drink this with a straw. This would actually be like a really good chicken marinade. Like you could take that, put it in a Ziploc bag with like some chicken breast and let it sit overnight. Mm -hmm. That would be delicious. And then grill it. Then that's what Then that's what you're gonna do with it. I'm gonna grill it you're afterwards. Going, you're gonna grill it afterwards. <laughs> yes. We've got our pasta salad. I'm gonna add in my chopped chicken. Is that a good chicken to pasta ratio? Oh yes. We'll start with that and see if we need more. Yeah. You can always add more. You can't take it away. Yeah. But you know, the pasta kind of soaks up some of that liquid, so you kind of got to add in a little bit more than what you think. Okay. Good Lord. <laughs> I love all the blue cheese. This looks so good. I need some more juice, though. Are you going to ruin this with celery? Should I put the celery in there? I think you should, but... A whiff of that. It smells good, doesn't it? Spicy sauce. Mm. Oh my gosh. You know what? 
I want to add a little garlic powder in there. I feel like it needs it. Yeah. Okay, just a sprinkle. And then we'll add in our celery, and this one is done. Okay, top it with celery. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now for Bunky's pasta salad. I have his pasta over here, and then to his, we're doing like a Greek pasta salad for him. I have some orange bell pepper, red onion, artichokes, and then olives. If y'all can find this dressing, this particular one, it is so good. You can see it on there, it says, with feta cheese and black olives. It has like all of that in here, and you get those tiny little chunks. Oh my gosh, it's like the best salad dressing but also great for this recipe so i'm going to toss all of bunky's um veggies in here and then i'm going to go ahead and cut up his salami we actually bought this big thing of boar's head salami the other day we had charcuterie for dinner and he has all of this left over we're trying to figure out how to use it and i was like oh this is perfect so i'll go ahead and cut that up into bite-sized pieces we'll top it with some feta and all that goodness Okay, also I just remembered that I had this Greek seasoning. This is so good. Sometimes I put it on my little pasta salad that y'all know I love. So I'm gonna put a little sprinkle of this on his as well. You know what I just remembered that I forgot at the grocery store and Bunky is gonna be so sad. <laughs> I meant to get him some little cherry tomatoes to cut in half to add in there as well and I completely forgot them. Hopefully it will still be just as delicious without them. Okay, we're gonna top it with a little bit more dressing Give this a stir and then this pasta salad will be done as well. And y'all, I don't like three fourths of the stuff that's in here, but this just looks good. And it like reminds me of summertime. Okay, I present to you. Does it look good? It does, Bonky. Would you like me to have a nibble? I want you to taste test this. Although I'm sure it's like better if it lets it, you know, if we let it sit for a couple hours. Mmm. That is good. Oh yeah, it's like all your favorite things. But you know what I forgot? What? Your tomatoes. I feel uh, so bad about it. You know what? <laughs> what? This would have been a great little side dish with your sandwich yesterday. Can you imagine oh. that in your sandwich? I cannot, but that would have been a perfect pairing. Yeah. The onion. <laughs> it's so crazy. Bucky, take us out. I can't do it. You can do it. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this special Bunky production episode. <laughs> and to our subscribers, new and old, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Love you. Subscribe. Don't forget to check out Yeetie down below in the description box. See you next time. See you next time. Friends. Bye, y'all.